In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to copy files from your local machine to an AWS EC2 Linux instance. Now, before we can do this, there's a few prerequisites that we need to meet. I've done videos on a few of these items. I have them all listed out here in this bash terminal. Uh, let's just go through these really quickly. So we definitely need to have an EC2 instance in AWS. We need to have configured inbound SSH firewall rules to our instances so that we can connect to them and copy files to them. We need to also have access to the private key, which is in the form of a PIM file, and you should have downloaded that whenever you initially launched your instance. We'll need that to be able to copy files. Uh, we also need to have an SCP client on our local host. So SCP, which is secure copy, that's what we're going to be using to actually copy files from our local machine to our Linux instance. And lastly, you need to understand how to SSH to your Linux instance as well. So for numbers 1, 2, and 5, I have videos for all three of those. So if you are missing one of those prerequisites, then just make sure to reference one of my videos in this AWS playlist on my channel. All right, so I'm going to exit out of here. And I have two bash terminals up. I have one on the left that we're going to be using to SSH into our instance. And I have one on the right that we're going to be using to copy files from our local machine to our instance. All right, so I'm in this key pair directory on my local host. Let's just look at what's inside. So I have my PIM file, which is my private key from when I initially launched my EC2 instance. And then I have this steps.txt file. What we're going to do is copy this steps.txt from this directory over to our Linux instance. All right, so we're going to SSH into our Linux instance to see what the directory structure looks like there and make sure that I don't already have a steps.txt file there. So to SSH, again, you will need to have watched my prior video on how to SSH into your instance to fully understand the process here, but I'm going to go ahead and SSH into my instance now using SSH-I, pointing to my PIM file, specifying my user, which is Ubuntu, at and then I'm going to paste in my public DNS address to my instance. Hit enter, and we are in. So now let's see, we, if we look inside, we've got a services directory, and if we go inside services and look inside of that, we have a node directory. So my objective is going to be to take the text file, the steps.txt file, that's on my local host, and copy them into this services directory. All right, so, so that we don't lose that, this information and how it looks now, we're just going to come over to this new bash terminal. And in this terminal is where we're going to be doing the copying of files from my local machine to my Linux instance in AWS. Now to do the secure copy with the SCP command, it's going to be very similar to the SSH command. So we're going to do SCP-I, specify our PIM file, and then we are going to specify what file we want to copy. So I just included the steps.txt file, and then we need to specify where we want to copy it to. So again, we're going to specify our user, Ubuntu for me in this case, at the public DNS address to our EC2 instance. And then we're going to specify the location on that instance that we want this file to be copied to. So we do that by specifying a colon after the end of our DNS address. And then we specify the location in the file system where we want the file to be copied to. So I just specified the services directory. As we saw, the services directory is within my home directory on my Linux system. So let's run that. All right, so it gives us indication that our steps.txt file went through with 100%. Now, just to be sure that we can now see that, going back over to the bash terminal on the left, now before, when we did a list directory command here with ls, all we had inside of services was this node directory. Now, if we do ls again, we have not only our node directory, but the newly copied steps.txt file. And that's all there is to it for copying files from your local machine to your instance in AWS. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. Thanks for watching.